Hello everybody and welcome for a new Minecraft episode. So this episode is normal. <laughs> By that I mean that we are in Minecraft and we are here to build a mine because like the name says Minecraft is made to craft and to mine so here we will make one of the most important things in this game we will make beautiful mine beautiful enough for us to mine even if we have some maintenance to do that um, instead of us I will say because we have some maintenance that mine automatically ores so I don't need ores anymore I don't need stone anymore I just need some stone variants and some ores ores like I said, to build decorations. Like I have, I have iron, but I need iron ores to decorate my house and other. So boom, we've just dug a lot of space and we died. So continue digging and a little transition. You can see it's a beautiful oil. So yes, it started to be really, really big. I dig, I dug a lot of space. The acceleration that you've seen it was like nine. 90 times the real speed so it was really really fast so we will just make this but without all the text to be nicer i do really appreciate the transition uh, tell me in the comments if you like it and of course you can leave a like subscribe anything you want it will help me a lot so i do really like this mine it's one of my favorites i no need to dig just behind so first transition i've completely finished the hole i think and i need to make the copper mine so of course i'm not just looking at the copper in the wall i i'm just looking at the level on my y level because i've just a map of the y levels and other and i know that it's here the level of copper that's here's the level where i should build my copper mine so let's start we will do like five mines i think in this video one for each thing that needs to be mined at this level like this we are very optimized very nice and it's quick so we can just i i don't know what 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 i was doing so the waterfall will be like an elevator i don't have any elevator system it's not useful because the waterfall is fast enough is quick enough and if it's not i can also teleport with my with my mods so it's a little bit cheating teleporting i use it only for video editing faster and only when i have great distances to walk through and i don't have time to do that like because i need to finish this today and i don't have the time to walk and it's not fun but i try to avoid using teleportation so this is also the stage of Mm, zinc because we have copper and zinc and i discovered some things that i cannot mine usually it with my miners while i'm holding v i think I, it's an activating touches i i don't know why but it's an activate okay i just seen something in my in my bag it was three metal detectors and i was looking for them and i don't found them so i crafted them back so now i know that i have double of them i will be able to use them as a decoration i don't know so this is pretty big for a mine entrance this will be beautiful and nice build so as you can see a little acceleration little copper and boom so we've completely finished the first mine the copper mine so we have this here we can take the water down to just see what's inside and you can see the beautiful entrance it looks very nice I, I feel like home here we have some minerals and we have the barrel with some informations in it we have the ceiling that's holded by wooden planks and we have the grid view on the mine so let's continue digging and making a lot of new things so this is the entrance for iron thing i think yes it's the iron level so this one will be the iron mine i have a lot of food because i used some bone meal from the flowers of the iron farm farm excuse me and i will use a lot of food in all my buildings so i need a lot of them i 
just dig a little entrance to indicate myself the direction where I should mine and but that's all I not mine any further because I don't need it it's just to indicate it's not very important we can just place some wood here to support the ceiling or to act like and at each level I add a little just like a little cave where I can put some minerals to expose and make beautiful like this I, I act as if I uh, was rich but I'm not <laughs> actually I'm really rich because I have a lot of minerals like this in my chest but it's because of an automatic farm and it's just directly minerals it's not blocks of them so it's not very fun I also put a blocks of minerals on the walls to indicate myself what mine is where and that's more easier to look out from the higher levels and also it looks very beautiful from the top of the mine little stone gradients to not just place stone everywhere and to make uh, like a blender in it and we can directly skip to the next level so this is the gold level I think so let's just place some selling support things so it's basically the same idea but it's not the same design every time because if it was it will not be nice and it will be just repetitive so I keep on modifying all of that. Oh no, it's the lapis lazuli level. Okay, so let's just place some lapis. It looks like a piscin, like a um, swimming swimming club. I don't know. So let's just take off a little bit of lapis. There's too much of the of it. We can just take that off and place one more here with a lantern. I, I do really love the, the ambient with lanterns on the build. This one has a little part of glass because instead of just covering all the caves by a wall, I found it will be nice to have some glass see through place at a moment. So I've just placed that. We can put some lanterns, some wood to support the ceiling some decoration lights and we are at the gold level so yes it it starts to be deep slate here because we are at level minus 16 we have the water level that we need to make flow inside but it doesn't work because i completely broke the cascade two times so i needed to replace it and when i replace it the water doesn't flow where it should flow so it's a little problem so we have some gold here i do really love the aspect of gold in that game the gold ores are very nice so some wood to make like um, an entrance to the mine and we are at the bottom of the mine to make some redstone and diamond mine and also the end of the mine so i think it will be the level where i will mine the most because it's deep slate i need deep slate i don't have any farm for that and it's also very beautiful in all kind of builds also in medieval style so some redstone on the wall and some diamonds on the ground because it looks very very nice and uh, it looks like i was very rich to place that more diamond blocks in fact it was made by my automatic miner so it's very easy to get i will need to block all of that and for that because it's the most important i make very high ceiling very big mines and other so like this it makes very huge caves so it feels like a little home in between the mountains i will need to place some beds here because it's useful but i i think i don't need because i have the teleportation system like i can go back here go back to my bed and came back here but i i prefer to have a bed here it will make like if someone was living here maybe some wheat field underground for the dwarves and other i don't know some folklore around this so i'm using glass to just lock and prevent the monsters to come you will see the end after and here i'm making some crane to just take the minerals up into out of the mine in fact it's not working 
I can use some create mode and other for that. I, I will think about this later. Maybe it can be a good idea, but for now it's just a decoration train. So we have some some building blocks. Here I'm just following again a Pinterest idea. It's not my own train. So if you want to make the same build as I do, just go on Pinterest, half of them are on it. Not all of them because I have a lot of imagination or also, but a lot of inspiration was taken on social medias. And I also changed my stripped logs because I don't have any wood that's the type that they're using. So I needed to use stripped logs to at least blend a little bit in the style of my train. So I'm making the counterweight now. And the counterweight is in stone. I start to understand why it's because it's very heavy. So as you can see, the trapdoors are not the best for that. And here we go, the visit. So we have the waterfall here. We have the crane, beautiful crane. The waterfall leads to the first mine, the copper mine. So you can mine copper here and zinc and maybe coal. It's the best height of the mine to mine coal, but it's not meant for that. You can also take the water elevator back to the next level, the iron level. So the high fell, the iron level is very nice. It's one of my favorites, but I prefer the gold level. Just after that, you have the lapis lazuli level. It makes like water going out of it. After that, you have the gold level all on the same side because the waterfall is on the same side so you have beautiful caves in it see if you like the video you can subscribe leave a like comment I, I i enjoy more subscribing but i do like all the others and if not enjoy your day and thank you